Ah, good afternoon, I'm here with my Umarex Glock 17 dual ammo and I'm finding some um, GSB Expresses, 7.87 grain because this is a really nice rifle barrel I'm going to take uh, 8 shots, uh, this is 10 yards out at that target semi rested so just my hand just on a, on a rice bag just to support it and see how accurate it is now I know with the iron sights it's shooting slightly to the left and slightly low of the centre so what I'll do, I'll aim slightly to the right of the ball, so you can see it's a virgin target. A little breezy out there, so we'll see how she does. Here it goes. Use nine sights obsolete. Got my reading glasses on. So let's see if I can actually get eight in the cent near the centre. So I've got roughly nowhere to where to aim. One more to go. Right, so we'll zoom in on that. You check the mag. Yes, eight shots are gone. So we'll just zoom in and have a look at that. So that looks pretty good. I can't see any pellet holes outside the centre of the black, so they've all gone somewhere in, the, in that black area at least I can see one one just just at the very bottom edge of the black and it looks like these are all in there so bring that target up and we'll have a closer look at that and that gives an idea of how accurate this um, this pistol is be back soon ah so I'm here with my Glock 17 dual ammo I've got some JSB Express pellets 7.7 grain I've got uh, three cans at 10 yards and I'm going to attempt to hit them freestanding. So eight shots at the pellet can first and then uh, I've got another 16 shots to choose from. So we're going to zoom in so you can see the targets. So there they are. So uh, no, no lasers today, iron sights only, a bit sunny. So here goes. I'm going to attempt to put move the camera across a bit. So we can, that's better, there we go, that's better there, good, so here goes, so I know roughly where to aim, with the iron sights, slightly high, and to the right, Right, there's a cat. That's seven or more. I believe that's eight, yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll go to the next bag. These magazines hold uh, 24 shots, 3 magazines of 8, so we'll go to the can again. I feel the CO2 dropping off. Right, blowback stopped. I'm still carrying on following this double action. That's pretty good. Whether we'll get another 8 out of it, we're not sure. Because the CO2 is definitely dropped off. 
this is all freestanding yeah this is just firing them now little action no blow back that's it I believe we are now out so that's pretty damn good I think we consider um, they said the blowback stopped on the final eight shots but it proves that freestanding 10 yards um, yeah the iron sights are pretty good not far off at all and like I said uh, that's without a laser so pretty pretty good so I hope you like that little video and I shall uh, put the review target review on after this see you later Ah, good afternoon. So I'm back with my uh, Glock 17 dual ammo and uh, I use this small bag here just to rest my wrist on and I was shooting at 10 yards. So I was using JSB Expresses, 7.7 grain and I got this group in. You'll see from the video it was a, a virgin target. So you've got 8 shots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So using iron sights, which isn't bad at all. It was obviously shooting slightly to the left and on and down a bit uh, with the with the sights on here so I actually actually aimed around about here and uh, to be quite honest I'm really happy with that for iron sights uh, I've got a laser for you as you can see but it's too bright today for a laser so that says an inch coin that's a two pence coin you can see yeah it basically covers all of those shots so you know vertically that's inside an inch, which is very good. So yeah, this uh, this pistol has a really nice rifle barrel. Uh, it does come with a BB uh, magazine, which uh, personally I would not shoot BBs through this because it's got such a nice rifle barrel. Stick to pellets, but these here obviously hold pellets. These are all pellet holders. You can see, you can tell by the the centers. They've all got like metal centers. Okay, uh, very much like the um, SA10. It's still so yeah really nice blowback um this does have the final bit of the pull does have quite quite stiff when it was brand new it has improved quite a lot actually it's nowhere near as hard as it was but even then it's harder than say uh, a bb shooter which has generally as a on blowback has a, a nice light trigger but you, it is accurate it does prove it's accurate and i have done other videos shooting it um, with a laser fitted showing it can knock down cans out at at least 15 meters so yeah um yeah the more the more use the trigger gets the better it gets so i know it's heavy out of the box but it does improve with use so comes in not a nice case you can see uh, so yeah it's really nice would recommend it uh, if you want an accurate pellet shooter um yeah if you don't want to spend a, a huge amount of money um, obviously you've got the MMP45 uh, 8-shot rotary, you've got the PPQ 8-shot rotary, you've got the CP88 8-shot rotary. They're all um, very decent quality barrels in them. If you use a decent quality pellet, you'll get you know, inch, inch groups really, to be quite honest. So I hope you enjoyed that little video. Thanks for watching.